What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today we are going to be talking about some more Black Ops 3 multiplayer information. So uh, yesterday was a pretty big day on Twitter because in the official Call of Duty Twitter account, Vaughn was doing a Q&A. So people from the community could send in questions with the hashtag AskTreyarch and he was answering them for, uh, for everybody. And for the most part, these questions and these answers were new information. Like, it was stuff we hadn't heard of before. So I wanted to go through and just kind of recap that for you guys if you might have missed and just kind of talk about everything that we learned. So. Uh, the first tweet here is from Ibrahim and he says, will all the attachments be unlocked already in arena mode slash league play? And Devon answers, yes, arena has all content available. You can also earn progress against anything unlocked in public match, which is really, really cool. So if you're playing arena mode, which is kind of like the new league play or ranked play or whatever you want to you know, call it, if you're playing in arena mode, you have everything unlocked, so there's no like you know limit to your classes or anything like that, which is nice because in competitive gameplay, a lot of people like want to run the same classes and stuff like that. So if you aren't ranked up to that level to have it unlocked in public match, at least you'll have it here, so you won't be at a disadvantage. And for the stuff that you do have unlocked already in public match, you're going to be earning you know things towards those challenges and, and towards those you know unlocks and stuff like that, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm glad they've got that in there. Now, uh, next up, Keep Moving asks if there's going to be anything for uh, like color blindness and stuff like that, like different color, you know, kind of layouts and stuff. And Vaughn says, accessibility is very important to us. More details to come before launch. So obviously those are going to be in there. And uh, the next up, somebody says, uh, is the ban and protect aspect in all multiplayer matches or is it just for ranked players? Play. And this is actually a, a really big thing. So you guys know, uh, you know, the ban protect system is kind of like the new competitive, you know, feature set where you can ban and protect certain items and certain, you know, specialists and all kinds of stuff like that in games. So like everything from weapons to equipment to attachments to stuff like that. You can choose whether or not they're going to be allowed. And he says bans and protects and the specialist draft are in arena and available to custom games with full control. So uh, it's going to happen in arena. It's going to happen in custom games, but it's not going to happen in normal multiplayer matches, which makes sense. I don't know why they would ever have that, but that's a, definitely a good thing because it, it takes quite a while. Like it'd be a couple of minutes before each match, which I don't think a lot of people would like. So uh, anyway, next up, Josh Payne says, will there be four or six people on each team in multiplayer? And uh, Vaughn says, most playlists are six on six, but we also have four on four. So it looks like Team Tactical is going to be coming back or he could be referring to arena mode there. Uh, and then he also said there's going to be some uh, some nine on nine. So Ground War is back, which is pretty cool. I would really like to see 2v2, like the, the face-off 2v2 and 2 or 3v3s uh, it, from like, was that Modern Warfare 3 that did that or was it Modern Warfare 2? Anyway, I, I would love to see that come back because I thought that was a ton of fun, but uh, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Now, next up, somebody says, uh, will I be able to switch specialists mid-game like switching classes? And no, you cannot do that. I could have told you guys that once you like start up the game, it, it's kind of like your score streaks. Like you can't switch your score streaks mid-game. You can't switch your specialists. Like you have to commit to that in the like pre-game lobby before the game starts. And uh, you know, that's just what you're gonna have to roll with. Now, uh, next up, Storm at Star 13 says, will there be emblem making and will it be as noticeable in Black Ops 1 and 2? I'm not sure what he means as noticeable there, but uh, Vaughn says, Yes, and even more important, it's, it's even more important now, and it has new features like grouping and linking. So, like, you'll be able to, you know, it's like, say you make this really cool, like, star, like a super detailed 3D star, something like that, and you want to move that star around as a whole. Before, you'd have to move it layer by layer, and it was super tedious, you'd mess it up, stuff like that. But it looks like now you're going to be able to link multiple layers together, so if you have like one piece of your emblem that you want to move around, and it's multiple layers, you can link them all together and move it as one whole object, which is uh, is pretty cool, and I can't wait to see what people come out with, as well as they have like all the new like hyper, like super super detailed edits and moving by percentages and like degrees and stuff like that like there, there's we've never had as much customization in the emblem editor as we will have uh, in this game now uh, next up this one is one of the most important ones from the entire you know kind of Q&A session and uh, this guy I'm not sure what his name is he says uh, ask Treyarch how much is the time to kill so he's just basically saying like how fast is it and Vaughn replies fast and we are still evaluating Play the beta and give us feedback about it. So right now, the time to kill is fast and they know it's fast and they mean for it to be fast, but they're evaluating and uh, they're wanting feedback about it. And honestly, I just, speaking for myself and what I think, you know, a majority of the community wants, I think we all want a little bit longer time to kill, like a, a little bit, you know, kind of, uh, 
I don't know how to say it, but less fast. You you want to have like a little bit more health. You have the guns be a little bit less powerful because like in Ghosts, that's like the Call of Duty that had the quickest time to kill. It was extremely, extremely fast. And it led to a lot of just like posting up behind cover and aiming down sight. And that person would win the gunfights every single time. There was no story to the gunfights. It was just whoever was aiming down sight, whoever was shooting first, won. Very rarely did you ever see like, you know, turn-ons or, you know, kind of elongated gunfights where, you know, somebody's like popping in and out of cover and and kind of, you know, trying to, you know, juke out other people and stuff like that because it's just like you, you insta-died. It was like, you know, laser beams. It just instantly terminated you. And I don't think we want that. I think we want a little bit more story to the gunfights. Like Black Ops 2 was great because even if you came around the corner and you were like switching weapons or had, you know, something out to where you couldn't shoot, you still had the opportunity to duck behind cover or dodge back around a corner and, you know, bring your weapon out and stuff like that. And it just, like, it, it led to a lot of those, you know, more awesome moments of just, like, you know, kind of turning on people and all kinds of stuff like that. So I feel like, in general, people want a little bit longer time to kill. And I feel like it might be a little bit too fast uh, as of this point in time. Now, it's kind of hard to tell because, you know, all we've ever done so far is play it on land, which makes it, you know, like, super, super good. Like, there's no ping, there's nothing, there's no delay because uh, it's not online. And that's going to lead to faster, you know, kills and faster gunfights. So we'll have to wait and see how it plays on the beta. That's going to be our first real taste of, of what it, you know, truly is going to perform like once, uh, you know, November comes around. But uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Leave comments down below. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a pretty big one. And uh, I, I don't know, just uh, I'm interested to see what you guys have to see. Now, uh, next up, we have a question from Will Richards. He says, will all guns be available in the beta? This is pretty interesting. I was pretty excited to learn about this one. And Vaughn says, most weapons are. So not all of them, but most of them. I just saw a near final list of what is in the beta, which means you will see it soon. So sometime soon, they're going to announce exactly what is included in the beta that we're going to be playing on August 19th, which is only 10 days away. It's crazy. It's awesome. So uh, anyway, we have two left boys, or actually one left. This is the final one. So uh, Anonymous says, uh, can we know about the prestige system in Black Ops 3? And uh, Vaughn replies, full details on the prestige system have not been announced, but we have something totally new and different plans. So it sounds like they have a, a little trick up their sleeve there. And I look forward to hearing what they're going to be doing that's so different and uh, totally new. So anyway, yeah, there you guys have it. That was a Q&A with Vaughn. Those are the kind of, you know, most important questions that he answered that we, you know, didn't really already know about. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.